The completed strut cart and extension assembly is lifted into place and lowered over the ends of the outside panels. Be sure to remove the stop pins to allow the adjustment of the strut cart and extension assembly as installation progresses. With the strut cart and extension assembly loosely in place, backfill around the outside panels. When backfilling is completed, use the excavator's reinforced bucket to drive the linear rails securely into the soil. Be sure the bucket impacts on the 2-inch push pads to prevent damage to the rail. Dig inside the first bay to remove excess dirt. Continue to drive the linear rails deeper as dirt is removed from the excavation. The bottom of the linear rails should be approximately two to three feet deeper than the outside panels. Lower the outside panels as you go. The panels should be lowered to approximately original grade. When this is completed, dig inside the bay, undercutting two to three feet below the bottom edge of the outside panels to prepare for the inside panel installation. Lower the inside panel between the rails, guiding it into place alongside the outside panel. Repeat this process on the other side of the excavation. The outside panels will no longer need to be moved at this point. The inside panels will be used to reach the desired depth. In cases where you have deep applications, additional panels can be added for greater depths. Two panels can be stacked on top of each other and joined together with stacking brackets. The stacking brackets are pinned in place using the lower panel lifting eyes. To install a second bay, begin by making the pilot cuts at each side of the slide rail system. The pilot cuts should be three feet longer than the panels being used and four feet deep. Install the outside panels as previously described. The GME E&S slide rail system offers two options for installing the panels. The first option allows the contractor to swing the panel in at ground level. This option helps the contractor clear any overhead obstructions at the site. The second option is to install the panel over the top of the rail into the open track in cases where there might be close obstructions beside the work site. Measure the system horizontally for squareness then drop the next strut cart and extension assembly over the ends of the outside panels. Again, be sure to remove the stop pins to allow the adjustment of the strut cart and extension assembly as installation progresses. Drive the linear rails into place by pushing on the pads on top of the rails. Remove excess dirt from the excavation and continue to work the rails down. As before, lower the linear rails approximately two to three feet deeper than the outside panel. Then continue to push the outside panels down to approximately original grade. 
It is important to check for level and squareness during the entire installation process to ensure proper fit and prevent possible binding during the removal of the components. Install the inside panels and lower them to desired depths. To keep the system aligned properly, it is important to keep the strut cart and extension assembly as close to the bottom of the linear rail as the work will allow. When installing the inside panels, it is important to undercut the panels by a few feet. This allows the panels to slide down easier. To install additional bays, follow the previous procedures as required. To install the end panel, place only one of the corner rails over the end of the outside panel. Complete the installation of the panel on the opposite side of the final bay. Then, dig the end cut and drop the end panel in place aligned as near as possible for final assembly. When installing the final corner rail to complete the system, use the corner rail template to aid in the alignment of the adjoining panels. This is a time-saving device which ensures that the last corner rail will go in perfectly.